Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Windows Update. Whenever you're trying to download or install, you're getting the error. There were some problem installing updates, but we will try again later. With error code 0x8007064 and the updates are KB5028997. So without wasting time, directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, I suggest you to download .NET Framework Repair Tool. Simply open this official website and download it into a system. Once it is downloaded, go ahead and run the file. Accept the terms and conditions and it will automatically try to fix the issues with .NET Framework as it is showing right over here. You simply need to proceed with the on screen instructions and once all the instructions are finished, make sure to restart your PC and after restarting, go ahead and try to update your system again to fix out the Windows Update Error Code 0x8007064. Now if this method failed to work out, let's proceed with the second step. I have a file with the name Windows Update Fix. This is the complete automation. It will completely reset your Windows Update components. So just copy this data from the description of this video, save it into a notepad file, then click on the option File and choose the option Save As. Save it onto your desktop and give it a name fix.bat. And in the save as type, choose the option all files. Once it is done, hit the save option. Now close it. Now here is the fix that we have just created. Just right click on it and choose the option run as administrator. The process is completely automated and will take some time. First of all, it will reset your Windows update component, reset your Windows software distribution folder and then reset your windows update data once the process is completed make sure to restart your pc and after restarting go ahead and try to run the windows update again to fix out the issue of there were some problem installing updates with error code 0x8007063 now i'll go ahead and minimize it to save the time in the meantime i'll go ahead and proceed with the third step click on the start menu and type cmd Run CMD as an administrator. Many users have reported, even Microsoft have told to increase the recovery partition to fix out the issue of error code 0x8007063. So first of all, type here re a g e n t c space slash info and then hit the enter key. From here, note down the number next to your hard disk at my end it is 0. And next one is next to the partition at my end it is 1. Make sure you note down these two numbers. Now type in R E A G E N T C space slash disable to disable the recovery environment. Once it is disabled, you need to increase your recovery partition. So first of all, let's clear the recovery environment. Now type in disk part. Now hit list disk and again hit the enter key. Now select type, select disk. Now type in the letter that you have just tagged in the recovery environment status. At my end, it was zero. Hit the enter key. Now type list part and then hit the enter key again. Now type in select part space the letter next to the partition right in the information of your recovery environment, which was one at my end. Then hit the enter key. Now type in shrink space desired is equal to 250 space minimum is equal to 250 and then hit the enter key. Now once this command is completed, type in another command select part space 1. The letter 1 is again next to the alphabet partition in the recovery environment information. Now hit the enter key. Now type in delete partition space override and hit the enter key. Now if this particular error is occurred at your end, the only thing you can do is to head over to settings menu, choose windows update and in windows update you need to stop the updates for 7 days or up to 15 days. 
because this is the only possible solution if you are getting this particular error. However, if you are able to delete the partition, in the next step, you need to create a new partition. For that, you need to type these commands one by one. First of all, type in list disk and hit the enter key. Now, if there is a star next to this GPT, that means your disk is GPT. However, if star is not available next to this GPT icon, your disk is MBR. Now make sure you write the commands properly. At my end, it is clearly showing that my disk is MBR type. So for MBR, simply copy this data from the description and paste right over here by pressing the control plus V key and then hit the enter key. Now if you have GPT, you need to type these two commands one by one. First one, you need to copy this data and paste in the command prompt. And secondly, copy this data and paste in the command prompt. Now, nextly, type this particular command and paste right over here and hit the enter key again. Once it is finished, type exit and hit the enter key. Now, you need to again enable the recovery environment. So, type in re a g e n t c space slash enable and hit the enter key again. Now, after the operation is successful, you can close it. Now again, go ahead, make sure you restart your PC and only then you try to update your windows and this will completely fix out your issue of installing security updates KB5028997 with error code 0x800-70643. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.